Which One Doesn't Belong? Playing with Shapes. This book is by my friend Christopher Danielson. He came to Randolph Heights last last fall and he read this book to some of the students. I hope you really like it. Which One Doesn't Belong? Playing with Shapes. This book is different from other books about shapes. Every page asks the same question and every answer can be correct. Turn the page to see for yourself. Look at these shapes. There are many ways they're alike and different. Pick out a shape that seems different from the others. Which one doesn't belong and why? Did you choose the shape in the lower left? If you did, maybe it's because this shape isn't colored in. Did you choose the shape in the lower right? If you did, maybe it's because this is the only shape that looks like it's leaning over. Or maybe you said that this shape doesn't belong because it has three sides and the others have four. Some people choose this shape because it's the only square. Other people say this shape doesn't belong because its angles are the wrong size. All of these answers are correct. On every page of this book, you can choose any shape and say that it doesn't belong. The important thing is to have a reason why. Some pages are more challenging than others, and you may need to put the book down and come back later. When you're ready, turn the page and decide which one doesn't belong. Which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong here? Which one here doesn't belong? How about these? Which one doesn't belong? Or these? Which one doesn't belong? Or here? Which one here doesn't belong? These are fun ones. Which one here doesn't belong? Or these? Which one doesn't belong? Which one here doesn't belong? Dear reader, as you talk about which shapes don't belong, have fun. Don't worry about being right. All properties count here and all ideas matter. The triangle is like a square because they both have straight sides. But if you count the number of sides, they're different. If you're thinking in a mathy way, then you'll notice sameness and difference in, in, in one property at a time. Properties are more important than the words you use to describe them. If you use words such as smooshed or stretched or bent or dented or curvy or colored in or cupcake, while reading this book, you're probably doing some great math.